Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 3. Now, Yahram, the son of Achav, began to reign over Yashadael in Shomoron, the 18th year of Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, and reigned 12 years. And he wrought evil in the sight of Yahuwah, but not like his father and like his mother, for he put away at the image of Baal that his father had made. Nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sins of Yaravam, the son of Nevat, which made at Yashadael to sin. He departed not therefrom. And Misha, king of Moab, was a sheep master, and rendered unto the king of Yashadael a hundred thousand lambs and a hundred thousand rams with the wool. But it came to pass, when Achav was dead, that the king of Moab rebelled against the king of Yashadael. And king Yahoram went out of Shamaron the same time, and numbered at all Yashadael. And he went and sent to Yahushaphat, the king of Yahuda, saying, The king of Moab has rebelled against me. Will you go with me against Moab to battle? And he said, I will go up. I am as you are, my people as your people, and my horses as your horses. And he said, Which way shall we go up? And he answered, The way through the wilderness of Edom. So the king of Yashadael went, and the king of Yahuda, and the king of Edom, and they fetched a compass of seven days' journey. And there was no water for the host and for the cattle that followed them. And the king of Yashadael said, Alas, that Yahuwah has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. But Yahushaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of Yahuwah, that we may inquire of Eth Yahuwah by him? And one of the king of Yashadael's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Eliyahu. And Yahushaphat said, The word of Yahuwah is with him. So the king of Yashadael and Yahushaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Yashadael, what have I to do with you? Get to the prophets of your father and to the prophets of your mother. And the king of Yashadael said unto him, Nay, for Yahuwah has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. And Elisha said, As Yahuwah Savaoth lives before, before whom I stand, surely Word not that I regard the presence of Yahushaphat, the king of Yahuda. I would not look toward you, nor see you. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass, when the minstrel played, that the hand of Yahuwah came upon him. And he said, Thus says Yahuwah, Make this valley full of ditches. For thus says Yahuwah, Ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink, both ye and your cattle and your beasts. And this is but a light thing in the sight of Yahuwah. He will deliver eth the Moavim also into your hand. And ye shall smite every fenced city and every choice city, and shall fell every good tree, and stop all wells of water, and mar every good piece of land with stones. And it came to pass in the morning, when the meat offering was offered, that, behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled at with water. And when all the Moavim heard that the kings were come up to fight against them, 
they gathered all that were able to put on armor, and upward, and stood in the border. And they rose up early in the morning, and the sun shone upon the water. And the Moavim saw eth the water on the other side as red as blood. And they said, This is blood. The kings are surely slain, and they have smitten eth one another. Now therefore, Moab, to the spoil. And when they came to the camp of Yashadael, Yashadael rose up and smote eth the Moavim, so that they fled before them. But they went forward, smiting eth the Moavim, even in their country. And they beat down the cities, and on every good piece of land, cast every man his stone, and filled it. And they stopped all the wells of water, and felled all the good trees. Only in Kier Shazareth, rather Chazareth, left they the stones thereof. Howbeit the slingers went about it, and smote it. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him seven hundred men that drew swords, to break through even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. Then he took at his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead, and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall. And there was great indignation against Yashadael, and they departed from him, and returned to their own land. <laughs>